In this lecture series, we will discuss about breast pathology. And the first topic in the series is benign epithelial changes of the breast. In order to understand the topic, firstly, you have to understand the classification system, which helps you to progress further in this study. So you can see this is the structure of breast. These are the ducts, the terminal ducts that open into the globular structures that are called SNI. Now these ducts and these SNI together constitute the parenchyma of the breast. By parenchyma, I mean the structure of the breast that is actually functional. So these SNI and these ducts produce the milk and carry the milk towards the nipple. So these structures, ducts and this SNI constitute the parenchyma or epithelium of the breast. Now surrounding this epithelial structures is the connective tissue. This connective tissue constitutes the stroma of the breast. So you can generally say that breast is composed of parenchymal epithelium and the stroma. Now the topic which is over concerned benign epithelial changes of the breast is not related to the stroma. We will discuss the stroma lions further in this playlist. Till now we will be discussing the epithelial changes and these epithelial changes you can see can be classified into benign epithelial changes or malignant epithelial changes that are called breast carcinoma. We will discuss breast carcinoma later but here our concern is benign epithelial changes which we will discuss in this video. Now these benign epithelial changes can be further subclassified into non-proliferative changes, proliferative changes without atypia and proliferative disease with atypia. We will discuss each of these subtopics in this video. So let's start. First of our subtopic is non-proliferative disease. What do we mean by non-proliferative disease? So here in this diagram you can see this is a duct and this is an acinus. Now you know that this duct and acinus is lined by epithelium. Now by non-proliferative epithelial changes mean that this epithelium is not proliferating and the duct and acinus are still lined by a single layer of epithelial cells. So, in non-proliferative disease, there is no proliferation of epithelium and there is single layer of epithelial cells. Now, this non-proliferative disease of the breast clinically presents as lum lumpy bumpy breast or it radiologically presents as dense breast with cyst. You will come to know the basics of this presentation when we will discuss the morphology of this lien. So, for the morphology of this non-proliferative disease, you have to remember three keywords. These three keywords are very important cysts, fibrosis and adenosis. These three are the keywords and these three are the constituents of this non-proliferative disease of the breast. So the first keyword is cyst. Cyst means epithelial lined fluid filled cavities. So you can see this is a fluid filled cavity. This represents the secretions and this is the epithelial lined structure. So the first keyword in this subsection is epithelial lined so by this we mean that there is an outer lining of flattened atrophic epithelium or metaplastic apocrine cells and by fluid filled cavities mean there are secretions in this cavity and these secretions may be calcified. Now let me explain it a little bit further. The epithelial lining that is actually constituting this cyst may be flattened or atrophic. Why it becomes flattened or atrophic? because these epithelial structures produce secretions and these secretions put the pressure on this lining epithelium. So when these secretions are putting pressure on the lining epithelium, the epithelial cells become flattened and atrophic. And sometimes you will see metaplastic apocrine cells. What are the metaplastic apocrine cells? Metaplastic apocrine cells is a change in morphology of the normal epithelium of the breast in which there is abundance of granules in the cytoplasm of the cell. Why there is abundance of granules? This abundance of granules actually signify the abundance of secretions produced by these epithelial cells. So you can say that these epithelial cells are producing a lot of secretions and as they have to produce a lot of secretions, so there is abundant granules in the cytoplasm. So you can see outer lining of flattened atrophic epithelium or some metaplastic apocrine cells. Other than this, as these cells are producing secretions, so you will see secretions in the cavity and these secretions may undergo calcification and appear as basophilic structures. So cysts will be morphologically apparent as epithelial lined fluid filled cavities. The second morphological change in non-proliferative disease is fibrosis and fibrosis simply means fibrous tissue in the stroma which appears eosinophilic. The third keyword in the morphological changes of non-proliferative disease is adenosis. 
the word adeno means glands and osis means excess of something so adenosis means more number of SNI per lobule so you can see this is a terminal duct and it is opening into the SNI now in non proliferative disease if there is adenosis this SNI increase in number like this this change is called adenosis now after studying these three morphological keywords in non proliferative disease there are some small points that may not be very important for exams but uh, I would like to discuss it here the SNI sometimes may be lined by atypical cells these atypical cells that line the SNI constitute flat epithelial atypia but still if it is non proliferative disease there is no more risk of cancer other than this you will have to remember that the genetic basis of this morphological change is deletion of 16q chromosome and the last point is that there is a rare lien in pregnancy that is called lactational adenoma this lactational adenoma is an example of non proliferative disease so remember these points now after understanding the morphological features of non proliferative disease let's discuss the basis of this clinical presentation so in non proliferative disease the clinical presentation is lumpy bumpy breast lumpy bumpy breast means that there are certain number of lumps on the breast why there are lumps these lumps actually represent the presence of cysts in the fibrous breast tissue so this cyst will cause lumpy bumpy appearance and radiologically you will see dense breast with cyst why there is dense breast radiologically because there is fibrosis and the fibrotic tissue is dense and why there are cysts obviously because the morphological changes formation of cyst so these are the keywords for the morphological change cysts fibrosis and adenosis and together these cysts and fibrosis constitute the fibrocystic change of the breast so what is fibrocystic change fibrocystic change of the breast is just a term for this non proliferative disease because it is characterized by fibrosis and cyst